Hey, everybody. I want to start out by just talking a little bit about what does it mean to be a Christian? Maybe more specifically, what is it that Christians believe about God and about themselves and about the world? And to do that, we're going to look at the Bible and we're going to use a discipleship tool that churches like ours have used for years. It's called the Heidelberg Catechism. See, here's my copy right here. It's really worn. I, I, got, it when I, was, I got it when I was a teenager. It's been very, very precious to me. It, it was written in the 1570s, but what it, what it said then, it still applies now because it was paying attention to the Word of God. So I just want to dig into it with you. I want to introduce it to you so that you can have a, a better grasp on who God is and what he's done for you. Listen to the, it's broken up into questions and answers. So it'll ask a question about, the, about, about human, human life or about God or about Christianity and then it'll give the answer that it's dug out of scripture. Just listen to the first question and answer. It asks, what is your only comfort in life and in death? And then it says, I am not my own. I belong body and soul in life and in death to my faithful Savior, Jesus Christ. He has fully paid for my sins with his precious, precious blood. And he has set me free from the tyranny of the devil. He watches over me so that not a hair can fall from my head without the will of my Father in heaven. In fact, all things must work together for my salvation. And because I belong to him, Christ, by his Holy Spirit, assures me of salvation and makes me wholeheartedly willing and ready from now on to live for him. What is your only comfort in life and in death? See, here in this answer, what we got is our comfort. Our comfort is from God and God alone, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And the Father has given us Jesus, and through Jesus, we know that we have a Father who watches over us all the time. Through Jesus, and because of Jesus, we have his Holy Spirit that assures us that he is with us, and that he will never let us go. <laughs> Jesus is at the center of what it means to be a Christian. It's not, about, it's not about you being a better moral person than the person next door. It's all about Jesus. It's centered on him and it reveals who God really is. The catechism goes on in, in question two, and it says, I mean, really, really helpfully for us today, right? What must you know to live and die in the joy of this comfort? It says three things. Three things. First, how great my sin and misery are. Second, how I am set free from all my sins and misery. Third, how, how I am to thank God for such a deliverance. You have to know three things. You have to know the problem, the scope and the depth of the problem. As the Bible tells us, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. There's nothing in our lives that has not been corrupted by sin. But the good news is that there is nothing in our lives that God is not redeeming through Jesus Christ. So, to, to think and to understand the lengths and the depths and the breadth of, of, the, of the path that God took to save us out of our sin. We need to know that. And then knowing that, how do we live? God wants us to live in gratitude. So there's three parts. There's three major parts to the Heidelberg Catechism. The first is how great is our sin and misery? That sounds like a negative thing, but how are we going to understand the positive until we understand the problem? And so as we march through and we, and we look at these things, we're going to look at that because 
In reality, it's good news. The truth is good news for you, and it is good news for me. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. Go. Live in the peace of Christ.